Now let's enter time using the weekly timesheet method. Let's come here, use weekly timesheet. And let's pull in Dan Miller. Notice the time we entered using the single activity method is already here. Let's come down to the next available line and let's enter additional time. He had to go back to Renee's on Tuesday. Same service item and it was another full day. You could continue on entering time in the timesheet this way. This needs to be on Tuesday. Continue by entering your customers, the service item, and the payroll item. One important thing to note is there's no job costing being done here. Job costing will be done when we cut the pay payroll check to Dan Miller. And that's using timesheets.